All right. Of course, wage in here. Um, of course, sizing. Sorry. Same thing, only different. All right, we got core sizing die. Um, this it does is uh, along with this punch, you put your lead core in here. Or down there, it shoves it up and it bleeds off the excess through this hole and uh, makes it size it down to weight. All right. This puppy here goes in just like any other die. Screw it in. Uh, real difference is um, this core punch adapter, or sorry, base punch adapter. Silly me. It replaces this, which is your piece that holds your um, shell holder and your um, primer arm. It just screws into the ram ah uh, so you unscrew it this has another bar similar to this runs under and this holds it in place and, um, base punches just screw into this there's a different punch for each each die and they're, they're numbered correspondingly Nug. Now, um, let's see if I can get this. There's a little, this, there's a little flat piece uh, under there that maybe you can see it better. This piece here. What it does when you raise the arm, it presses down on the ejection pin so that uh, it is forced out the bottom. I gotta adjust this. This needs to be sitting on there. Adjust these down until that sits on there. Take the top nuts. Still are snug, but not enough to move your handle. Knees up to it. Even snug. That should be good. Yeah. All right, lube. Um. Everything's going to be handled with these fingers, thumb and these two fingers. So just lube those up, and you use a lot less lube because you know everything you put in there you're going to hold like this. So just give it a roll, and it'll lube it up. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Yeah, right. Let's see. It's like um, sizing bullets. You got the, you know, a pin. You hold it on top, you run it up into the die, just like that. It's um, the exact same idea as far as that goes. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Difference is you're, you're sizing lead, and the hole's right there, and you'll, you'll see. As I press up, the excess lead bleeds off. Bottom it out, hold it for just a second because lead will keep oozing as long as there's pressure. And you bring it up, see that comes down. And as I raise the handle, it forces it down. And there it is. Okay, let's see if there's any of the flashing on there. Some of that little flashing. It's a little thicker than aluminum foil. Uh, and the more tin and antimony in your alloy, these drop out. A lot of times it'll just break off pretty flush and you don't really have to do much. But um, you might thumbnails get soft and break so instead of peeling off with that I use a little razor blade just lay it flat hold that kind of low and give it a little twist it just shaves it right off sometimes it's both ends sometimes it's not and yeah, this one really wasn't 
Let's see what this one weighs. Get things roughly where I want them. Come on, tilt down. And once they're averaging what I want, then I just run a bunch. Five point eight. It's not too far off. Gotta shave off a touch. Now, when you, <clears throat> sorry, um, keep resizing, it gets denser and denser. It, it compacts, and some uh, suggest doing it in stages to um, what do you call it? Uh, Stabilize the weights and make them more consistent, but uh, ain't no one got time for that. Um, also, if I go you go um full full ram, I'll probably end up below my target weight. Let's see. Nope, I'm at forty five five. I actually want a little lower. Let me give this a little tweak. Tear that out. Forty-five four. That's uh, kind of the upper limit of what I want, so I'll keep that one. Um, let's run another full one through and see what kind of result I get after adjusting a little bit. Um, the standard size is dropping about 52 grain. Usually, um, size off about five grains, um, to make a 55 grain bullet. Like five to seven, and for these, I'm closer to 40. <laughs> so, there's a little more involved as far as pressure and how long it takes to press it out. Okay, let's see what I got. All right. 45.8, it still needs some adjustment. Okay, let me go full stroke. How can I end up overshooting? 45.3, that's not bad. It's a little above what I want. So just a little bit. I'm just, I'm not turning it all that much. There's a little more of that flashing. Oh, come on. Cooperate. There we go. 45.4. It's like anything else. Once you get it, you go with it. So you get it, run several, kind of get the average. Kind of like dropping powder charges. Five three. Yeah. Going for forty five two really. Then drop any lower. For heavier, heavier casings. There we go. That's really what I'm shooting for. 45.2. If I can get a few of those consistently, then I just run a bunch, and then do what I normally do, which is clean them. 
oxidize them, and then weigh them. Because when you're cleaning, you know, you're swishing them around in a jug and, you know, the lube gets washed off. And oxidizing, you got the vinegar eating into it a little bit. So it can lose a little weight. So weighing them at the end, you're going to get the consistency versus trying to do it beforehand and uh, finding out you've lost just enough in the hundreds to make a, make a bullet, uh, you know, a little light compared to what you would have thought. 55, huh? That's a little high. Let's see if I can bump that down just to see. Okay. So yeah, I, I went full and I lost five tenths of a grain instead of the one tenth I was going for. But still, uh, 45.0 is usable. in reality when it comes to Winchester <laughs> um, I think the lowest brass really gets is around 9.1 but I have seen one as heavy as 11.5 and I think that was actually a federal it was real outlander or outlier I've never seen another one that heavy Ooh, there we go we're getting consistency now all right I'm gonna run off a bunch of these and uh, we'll be back so I'm gonna run a few off while I'm here and... whoops silly me Come on camera <laughs> I forgot to Flip that sucker up. And just focus on the on the scale like an idiot. It's not like this is difficult, hard, you know, intensive labor. It's just uh, gets a bit repetitive. Uh, after few hundred or so uh, but you know once you get a collection built up it's no big deal then then it's just you know picking your weights throwing it together you know, forming the base forming the point checking to see how you know everything came out of it and, uh, good to go Sometimes get one in here a little cocked and it'll bend. And eh, you throw it in the in the remelt bin and continue on. Christmas decorations? Tinsel? Yeah. Oh. yeah. All right, I'm going to run off a bunch of these and then uh, get back to you. All right, in a bit. And by the power of no budget editing, we have 400 cores on what appears to be the same day. Oh, wait. Technically, it is the same day, just almost not. All right, let's prep these. I'm gonna first. I'm gonna throw them in some Dawn and citric acid, uh, basically let me shine. Uh, shake them up a bit so they're need to clean off the um, lube. Uh, I reuse this a bunch of times. Once it starts feeling a little greasy, I I replace it. 
nothing special. Um, dump it in a bit of window screen to drain them. And just pour this back, pour it back in and rinse them off. All right, let's do that. Uh, give me a second here. in here see if I can do it uh, neatly without chasing any around on the floor <laughs> not too bad sometimes I impress myself alright shake it up uh, some of that extra flashing ridges uh, work some of it off so if some weight is lost, not much. All right, enough of that. All right, Let's see what we got here. Some fell out, but still, most of them are in the screen. Yeah. Push these out. Sorry about that. Alright, I just come over my, my sump pit. Uh, do stuff here to keep uh, let out of the water supply as best I can. And it's just an easy place for me to work. Alright, it's mopped a few times. Uh, Good. And uh, take them over for some vinegar action. All right. All right. Next. Next, we bring in a jug of vinegar. Uh, same idea. Without all the shaking. Let's see. I can do this. Up a little bit enough to get them coated. Let them sit for 20 minutes. It's one of the easiest steps involved. <laughs> we'll be back. All right, okay. And in the interim, uh, I took the opportunity to update my uh redneck camera stand to potentially less janky. We'll see how that works. All right, Open these up. Dump them in. So, yeah. Same routine. There. Use that several times. And go uh, rinse them off. All right, rinse these off. Interestingly, after they come out of the uh, vinegar, they're often just a little tacky. But when they dry, that goes away. Just uh, dump them out. Spread them out and leave them for a while. Uh, they should actually start to darken up and start to gray and oxidize rather quickly.
more quickly than you would expect. Got the scrap bin. Alright, we'll be back. Actually, can you see the difference between what they started out? I mean, this is, I just paused it uh, uh, less than a minute ago, threw those in. They're already darkening, they're not dry. Um, in a day, they'll be closer to this. Um, and these have been sitting out a week or two, probably, but they oxidize really well. And the more lead content, um, the darker they get. They'll get like charcoal gray. Um, I had some to just grab quickly. Uh, I would. But yeah, it's a marked difference to uh, what they start out as. Alright, I'll let these dry a bit. Try to get some lighting uh, to see so you can see uh, how much different they are. I've watched a couple episodes of uh, Johnny's Reloading Bench, so yeah, 45 minutes. And uh, yeah, they've darkened a fair amount. So I just thought I'd show that to you. I um, guess next time will be um, course eating. Well, it's, this is planned for the moment. Exchange. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> All right, that's the next logical step, anyway. All right, let's see it. I'm separating cores by weight. They're dry. They're oxidized pretty nicely. Um, got the idea for a container from Fortune Cookie. I saw that he stores bullets in the bottoms of the uh, chicken containers you get from like Sam's and places like that. So I started collecting those and, and these uh, come in a variety of sizes. Uh, made up little... Um, little labels so I don't get confused just by the tents oh I can just reuse them uh you know instead of going well I need 45.3 just point three if I so if I'm going for you know a different weight it doesn't matter start at zero uh got a couple containers for anything under that so say I hit a 49.9 I can still use that so I got some place to throw it and I have got hit one of those already so uh yeah it's not a big thing there's 45.1 when i get get done with these i'll i'll bag them up in uh labeled ziploc bags um i do the same with my brass so i can just Pull out the corresponding bags later and, and uh, throw them in the shaker. Yeah, I was shooting for uh, 45.2. I've got most of mine are 45 that are driving or 0.1 to 0.3, so it's a pretty good range. A few outside, but that's the bulk of them. So did pretty good there. All right, I won't bore you to tears. Uh, do these and uh, wrap up this video all right see it all right wrapping up um, sorting by weight I've been shooting for 45.2 the majority have been 45 45.2 and 45.3 runner up is 45.1 so far they've run the gamut from 44.9 to 44.5 got a handful left let's see what happens there uh, That'll end this, and then um, I was able to make it to the range this weekend, um, do some dumpster diving, and clean the floor, and get some 22 long rifle and some 17 HMR, and be able to move on. Alright, so let's see what we got here.
right, it's about 400 pieces. Should be good to go. All right, later.